Hey everybody, this is Ori from Master Web, and I'm excited to showcase to you a new feature that just came out that I've been waiting for for a long, long, long time, which is meta fields. So what is meta fields first of all? So meta fields is a way for you to add additional information on top of your most important things on your site, your products, your orders, your customers, etc. Now, Meta Fields is not a new thing, but the way you manage it is new. You don't need external apps, developers to do a lot of the things that you can, uh, that you need to do. And now you can do them much easier and with a shortcut. So let me explain a few things first of all. So first thing uh, I'm going to do is go to the back end and manage a product. Uh, as, as of before uh, this, when it came out, so right, so before 2021, uh, what you would do is when you uploaded a product, you have a product name, your description, your images, and that's it. And anything else you wanted to add to this, you could not do in, sh in Shopify. You'd have to install an app called MetaFields. Usually they're kind of clunky. They had all these different things. Uh, maybe you need a developer to help you. But now, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice there's a new section here on the sites that support the new uh, Shopify, which is using meta fields. These are basically additional attributes, just like this is an attribute, this is a field, this is a field. These are additional fields you can go, you can plug them in easily via the back end, and you can actually uh, use code and apps to pull that information and display them on the front end. So for example, what I did is I have uh, for this, for every single product, I have my length, my height, and my width. And if I put it in, if I go to a product page, I can easily uh, support this and show this on the front end. Before, in order to do that, what you'd have to do is you'd actually have to go and upload your product, then go to an app, edit that product, input your width, length, uh, height, etc., and then have a developer do something. So now what I did is all you have to do is go to settings and now you have a new section here called meta fields you can create your meta fields and they're supported for products variants right Pro variants of products uh, and in the future collections customers and orders there's going to be so many cool things you can do out of the box without having apps and other things so let me show you an example of what i can do and again uh, this youtube channel is here to help you guys if you have any questions let me know we can do more advanced things as well uh, so let's do it so what i'm going to do here i'm going to go to products and for example i made all of these types i made these new product uh, meta fields if i want to add a new one i can add a new definition and let's say I want to call mine, uh, just for example, these are some built-in ones, by the way. So for example, UPCs are very popular um, for products. ISBNs are for books. These are some built-in ones, but you can make your own. So let's just say I want to have something called um, internal material. I just made up a new attribute, a new meta field that I wanted. This is the, the key definition, basically where the developer would take that to use it in the theme. And I can add a description if I want. Right now I don't want. And you can make these product types based on all of these. Just a regular text field, just input whatever it is for each product, uploading a file, a reference, a number, a measurement, like a dimension, uh, a true or false, a yes or a no, basically, a URL. And the good thing about each one of these types, a JSON, which is re relevant to code, a color picker, the nice thing about these things is most of them, let's say, for example, text, if I go here, I can have a small text or a text area, big text. And the nice thing is there's a validation. So aside, in addition, excuse me, to just adding these new fields, these meta fields on top of your products, you can always have also have these things. For example, I only allow to have 10 characters long for whenever I type. If I type more, it won't let me continue. Or maybe the minimum has to be at least two. Okay, regular expression means this is a very simple way of you adding code to validate the text that you're inputting in a certain way. For example, it might not have S's, or it might ha it might have to start with HTTP, or it might have to start with a certain serial number, or it might must have must contain an even number or, or something like that, right? Okay, uh, and so you see if I change this, for example, I can do for example upload a file. I can do things like a number, right? If I do a number, it has to be only a number. I cannot enter letters, for example. So we have all of these cool things, measurement, JSON, here's a color picker, for example, uh, et cetera. So once you do that, you can pin it, basically show to the top, and uh, that's it. You see I have some dimensions, some pages, some true or false, some f uh, files, et cetera. Once I do that, I'm gonna actually go to manage my products, go product by product, and I'm gonna input it. 
Uh, currently, it's only supported to input it via um, one by one. So there's no bulk method to do that, no uh, spreadsheet CSV, but I'm sure it will come in the future. And obviously you can still use apps to access the meta fields, but this is just an easy way. The second thing you're gonna do, and this is most important, is if you have a Shopify theme, theme 2.0, and it just came out, this is, it's the summer of 2021, um, so for example, the Dawn theme, if I click on this, I don't need a developer. I can go to Dawn, I can click on customize, and then I can go to my product page, for example, my product template, and I'm going to click on the default one. And then here are all these elements. This will look kind of familiar with you if you haven't seen the, the 2.0. And then what I, I'm going to do, I can add a block, for example, right? So a block, just for example here, and I can specify text. And I can use, there's going to be this thing right here, which will allow me to add my meta fields inside. If there's a plus icon next to this right here, I can add multiple. If there's no plus, I can only add one. So for example, I'm going to call it test and I'm going to click here and it's going to show me all the available ones. So for example, I want to add the vendor right here. I'm going to click here and I'm going to add, um, this is my vendor. Okay. And it's going to auto insert for that specific product, the information. And I, I can also specify the type, the textile, right? And every theme will have things that are slightly different. This is related to the theme. So if I go here and I save that, now I literally added without a developer, I added some meta field, which is a vendor in this case, but it could be just like I added before my dimensions and I can add whatever I want. And then you can obviously ask your developer to do more custom and cool things with it to not show it, to show it if it exists, if it doesn't exist, but it's really making life easier without a developer. And it's a great feature and you have a lot more things. It's just the beginning. Um, so that's it. So let's go back to this part. Um, let's do a summary quickly. So first of all, meta fields, there's a new section in the settings. You can make your own attributes, your own fields. Right now, they're only available for products and variants in the future, which I'm really excited, especially customers and orders. I'm really excited to see, which we've made, our company has made custom things based on that, but now it's going to be in the future built in. Um, and you can easily do it if you have a theme that supports, you go to the theme, you go to the relevant page, you add it, maybe you ask the developer to do some cool custom things and you're ready to go. And then you can just manage these in the back end. It's great. You don't need apps anymore and it's just going to get better. And we're really, really excited. So that's it. Hope you enjoy this video. Ask questions. We're here to answer, uh, even complex things. Let's talk about it. Let's share with everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, if you like our videos, please subscribe. Uh, really appreciate your guys' time.